The vast majority of the people who've ever seen the great flow country have done so from this railway track, which wobbles its way up across Cape Death and Sutherland. And if you want to have that experience, then you better be quick, because much of the land on either side of the track has already been planted up with trees. And in years to come, this train will run to a green tunnel. I'd say a green tunnel of gloom. Other people would say a green tunnel of prosperity and joy. But why has it happened, and why has it happened so quickly? Government policy encourages forestry by giving tax benefits to the investors who expect to make a great deal of money out of their plantations. It must be very nice to the investors having the railway line here so they can come up and see their new plantation. And also very convenient for getting the workers in and taking the timber out. But why was the railway built here in the first place? I mean, they could have put it the direct route along the coast, linking up all the towns and villages. But no, instead, they put it the real long route going through this wilderness of the flow country. Well, again, the answer was incentive. You see, the great estates were here, and they wanted the railway line so they could build all their lodges and develop a new tourist industry. But this part of the tourist industry is now running down. In contrast to the incentive for private forestry, estates are actually penalised.